the big pet cat by david wilson coffee break collection 36 cats this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org recording by betty b the big pet cat one evening in the 90s i went to dine at the house of a friend in burma and was unexpectedly greeted at the entrance by a leopard almost fully grown he received me with the same restful manner of dignified armed neutrality that may be seen on the features of a domestic cat or of an old family servant observing a strange visitor do the others know i asked the host meaning the other dinner guests not yet arrived yes they all know him but none of them like him or maybe it is that he does not like them i don't know exactly what is the matter he seems to feel by instinct that you are a friend dear old fellow and the big cat laid its head confidentially on his thigh and rolled its eyes dubiously in the way cats do while a fat hand caressed its fine fur tenderly lovingly it'll be rare fun to see the rest arrive it was indeed a pleasant entertainment to see that bachelor's house being entered as if a very distinguished hostess were receiving the visitors the sight of mr spots made the most free and easy a little constrained in manner they kept their eyes upon him and as he moved about at his ease they made way for him with an agility of quick politeness more common in frenchmen than in englishmen but though he engrossed their conversation as much as their thoughts there was a lack of heartiness in their appreciation which seemed to sadden their host he tried to keep the fine animal beside himself pets should always be young and growing creatures he said as he scratched its head and with many mingled puffs and sighs went on to say they are a nuisance when they grow up you lose their affection you see women are just the same this beautiful beast does not heed me now and at one time no puppy could be fonder he would lie on his back to be tickled by a straw and play with me by the hour he hardly ever snarled even at the servants look at him the gentle beast was made to show his teeth and opened a capacious mouth yes indeed said one i've done nothing but look at him since i came in and have had my hand on my pistol already once he won't hurt you he's had his dinner another visitor sent his dog home and opportunely remarked that as leopards were fond of eating dogs they felt at home with humanity as lions or tigers never could it was hunger only that made these bigger beasts eat men the normal tiger or lion would run away from a child or at any rate pass it by but even a well-fed leopard might take to long pig meaning humanity in simple wantonness for a change i hope he always has plenty of salt with his food said one might i tell the boy to fetch some for him now why in all the world because it is the salt in human flesh that is said to be the great attraction you don't suppose my leopard spends his time in studying chemistry do you i tell you he would not eat you if you offered yourself his belly's full mr spots yawned and looked round the company with an air of royal indifference his master continued to scratch his head in obedience to a gesture he submitted quietly when a servant fastened a chain on his neck and reluctantly but unresistingly he let himself be led away i'm very sorry said his master looking after him affectionately almost as if apologizing to the pet that's what is hurting his feelings he explained to us what the chain the restriction the want of confidence is spoiling his fine temper after a pause he added as i was saying it's the lapse of time pets should always be adolescent and women too not women protested one who quoted age cannot wither her nor custom stale her infinite variety it's not variety that i want cried he i hate change i would like my pets never to grow up it's the change i object to it's horrid these transfers hello are you transferred we cried more interested than surprised for as readers are probably aware the europeans of every kind in the east are at the best respectable vagabonds globe-trotters by trade and only a few derelicts who are settling down to die can have a fixed abode transferred no no i don't mean that 
i was thinking of transfers of affection he explained and he proceeded to discuss the claims of various zoos and the chance of poor mr spots being more happy in one than another like a mother discussing her daughter's suitors amidst the merriment that arose when all constraint was ended he was advised to wed and seemed to take the advice most seriously he did send away the leopard and did take a wife not long afterwards and as he was a good-hearted man i believe she is a happy woman but she little suspects who was her predecessor in her husband's affections End of The Big Pet Cat by David Wilson